Now we get to fill our wine bottles. When you set up your room, you'll want to have your carboy sitting higher than your wine bottles. That's why I put the wine bottle on the ground. Connect your automatic filler tap to the siphon hose and then put it in your first wine bottle and connect the siphon hose to the siphon. Put your bottle down, take the tap off your full carboy. Now your carboy is going to be all the way full so when you start siphoning you want to siphon out a little bit into your bottle before you put your tubing down into the carboy. Now this automatic filler tap really comes in handy when filling wine bottles because when it's all the way full it will automatically shut off. Then you just click on the sides, pull it off, and put it in your next wine bottle and the siphon is still there ready to go. Push down on the tap, fill your bottle, when it's done, it will click off, push on the sides, take it out, put it in your next wine bottle, push down on the tap, very very easy, quick, and fun to do. Here's a close-up of the bottle filling and you can see that when it reaches a certain level it clicks off. Always make sure you click it off before you take it off so that wine doesn't spill all over the floor. Put it in your next wine bottle, put the cap down and fill the rest of your bottles. Now we're going to put corks into our wine bottles. I have this double corker. Put the cork in, set my corker on top of my bottle, push down, and voila! There's my cork. Very simple to use. I like to work on the floor so that I have that leverage to use. It is a little bit tight. To be able to push it down, but once you get the feel of it, it's quite easy to use. For more videos and information on making homemade wine, please visit ProvenantLivingToday.com or PeaceInParadise.blogspot.com.